Hello everyone, welcome back to another movie review. I am Timmy Trickle, and this evening's movie review is going to be He Knows You're Alone. This was released on August 29th, 1980. It is a slasher horror movie that received uh, mixed to negative reviews with critics. It was directed by Armand Mastrioni and written by Scott Parker. It has a 4.9 out of 10 on IMDb, a 25% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 71% on Google. This movie had a $250,000 budget and it made $4.9 million at the box office. Now this movie uh, stars Russell Todd, Don Scardino, Caitlin O'Henney, Elizabeth Kemp, Patsy Peace, Paul Gleason, and in their debut for uh, their first movies, you have uh, Tom Hanks and Dana Barron. Uh, Tom Hanks plays Elliot, and Dana Barron plays Diane Jensen. And this is uh, both of theirs' first ever movie role. Uh, this movie, sort of your typical slasher. Um, especially like it was just huge in the early 80s this one has the feeling like a, a stalker type slasher movie uh, like a Halloween so there's a little influence there um, and this is gonna be a spoiler alert if you haven't seen this movie mute this and then when I'm done with the spoilers I'll give the camera a thumbs up when I'm done with the spoilers but this movie's opening sequence um, is a shot-by-shot -shot influence for Scream 2. Uh, also, this movie has uh, a little influence for My Bloody Valentine. Um, in the third act, there's a chase scene that has that type of feel of My Bloody Valentine, and, at least in my opinion. But uh, it's about this bride who... Uh, is uh, going to get married. She's an hour away from being married and she is killed. Uh, and then sometime later, um, this police officer's been looking for this guy for a long time. Uh, and this guy, he basically stalks and kills uh, brides and bridesmaids, however you want to put it. And it, like I said, it just has that Halloween uh, feel to it. And even the score, you can tell with uh, the influence from Halloween. And it sounds like a little bit from Friday the 13th as well. Uh, I believe Friday the 13th came out before this. Don't quote me on that, but I believe, I believe it did. But uh, this was a solid slasher. I mean, there, it wasn't scary um, like Halloween was uh, but it is a serviceable slasher something that I did enjoy uh, there were some flaws you know uh, uh, you know it, the whole it wasn't really scary oh, and I'm done with the uh, uh, spoilers by the way so you can turn your volume back up uh, it just wasn't as scary or suspenseful or thrilling as Halloween. Uh, but the third act, I really enjoyed. And there's a, there's a kill that happens that I, I really enjoyed. And uh, the outcome of it, I, I, like, I like what the killer did. And uh, it, it was different, but I like that. And... Uh, the beginning of the movie, like I said, it has the shot-by-shot uh, -shot influence for another horror movie that you'll recognize, and I won't say again what it was, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So with that, I'm going to give uh, He Knows You're Alone a 7 out of 10. Uh, so yeah, definitely check this one out. I give it two thumbs up. Uh, Tom, like I said, Tom Hanks. And Dana Barron, it's their movie debut. Uh, if you don't, if you don't know who Tom Hanks is, then you don't need to be watching movies. 
Uh, Dana Barron, she was in National Influence Vacation. Um, she was also in um, the second the second season of Beverly Hills 90210, the original uh, 1990s Beverly Hills 90210. I believe she was in the second season uh, as Brandon's girlfriend for uh, many episodes. Uh, I really wish she would have hang, hung around because she was actually pretty good. Uh, but yeah, definitely check this movie out. If you've seen this movie in the comment section below, give me your thoughts and opinions and uh, let me know what you think of Tom Hanks and Dana Barron's performance. I really enjoy them. They weren't, you know, main characters or they're more just like side, you know, small part uh, characters, but I really enjoy what they did. Uh, I, I really think if Tom Hanks was given an actual starring role in this movie, I, I think it would really, really would have been any even better. I really wish he would end up, you know, being a killer. I think that'd be freaking awesome. Uh, but all that aside, check it out. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon. And if you like this uh, review, hit the like button and share this with all your family and friends. The more the merrier for my page, the funner it's going to be. But as I said, I'm not doing this for uh, sponsors or to make money or none of that stuff. I do it because I love movies and I love television. So other than that, I'm Horror Fan for Life, also known as Timmy Trigle, and check you later.